Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of number system and the question is as follows. Find the number of trailing zeros at the end of the following number 5 raised power 1 into 10 square into 15 cube all the way up to 100 raised power 20 whole divided by 1 raised power 1 into 2 square into 3 cube all the way up to 10 raised power 10. Now we are provided for options for this question. Option A 245 option B 195, option C 160 and option D 147. So this was our question on the topic of number system and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that you have tried the question and you have got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to our given question we are given a number such that 5 raised to power 1 into 10 square into 15 cube all the way up to 100 raised to power 20 is present in the numerator and it is divided by 1 raised to power 1 into 2 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power 3 all the way up to 10 raised to power 10. Now we have to find the number of trailing zeros in this question. So basically we have to find the number of zeros at the end of this number. Now the number of zeros at the end of a number is made by the powers of 2 and 5. So we have to calculate the highest power of 5 and 2 in this number and take the lesser of the number by which we can easily find out the number of trailing zeros. Now if we look the number carefully, we have a higher number of power of 5 in the numerator and the lower number of 5 in the denominator and same for the number of powers of 2, we have higher number of power in the denominator for 2 but lower number of power in the numerator. So basically the powers of 2 in this number is lower than the powers of 5. So what we can do is we can simply calculate the powers of 2 that will end up with our result. So we don't have to calculate the powers of 5 which will waste a lot of time for our question. So let's calculate the total powers of 2 in this number. So now we have to calculate the highest power of 2. So let's write down all the numbers that will contain at least a single power of 2. Now we have 20 numbers starting from 5 raised to power 1 up to 100 raised to power 20. So basically all the odd numbers will contain no power of 2 and all the even numbers will contain at least one power of 2. So we'll get powers of 2 in 10 raised to power 2, 20 raised to power 4, 30 raised to power 6, 40 raised to power 8, 50 raised to power 10 and same for the rest we'll get 60 raised to power 12, 70 raised to power 14, 80 raised to power 16, 90 raised to power 80 and 100 raised to power 20. So these 10 numbers will get at least one power of 2. Now we have to separately calculate the total powers of 2 in each of the number and add the sum to calculate the highest power of 2 in just our numerator. Now for 10 raised to power 2 we will get only 2 powers of 2. For 20 raised to power 4 we will get 8 because we have 2 raised to power 2 whole raised to power 4. So we will get 2 into 4 that is equal to 8. For 30 raised to power 6 we will get 6 powers of 2. For 40 raised to power 8 we will get 24 powers of 2. Now the reason behind it is as follows. We have 2 raised to power 3 in 40 and 3 into 8 is equal to 24. So we get 24 powers of 2. Now for 50 raised to power 10 we will simply get 10 powers of 2. For 60 raised to power 12 we will again get 24 powers of 2. For 70 raised to power 14 we will get 14 powers of 2. Now for 80 raised to power 16 we have 64 powers of 2 because we have 2 raised to power 4 whole raised to power 16. So 4 into 16 is equal to 64. For 90 raised to power 80 we again have 18 powers of 2 and for 100 raised to power 20 we have 40 powers of 2 because we have 2 raised to power 2 whole raised to power 20. So we have 40 powers of 2. Now we have to calculate the sum of these 10 numbers to calculate the highest power of 2 in our numerator. So that is equal to 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 24 plus 10 plus 24 plus 14 plus 64 plus 18 plus 40 and if you calculate the sum it will come as 210. So we have got the highest power of 2 in the numerator as 210 and let's calculate the highest power of 2 in the denominator and then subtract these two numbers to find out the number of trading zeros in our question. So now calculating the highest power of 2 in the denominator, so number of powers that we get from denominator is from the numbers 2 raised to power 2, 4 raised to power 4, 6 raised to power 6, 8 raised to power 8 and 10 raised to power 10. Now from 2 raised to power 2 we will get 2 powers of 2, from 4 raised to power 4 we will get 8 powers of 2, from 6 raised to power 6 we will get 6 powers of 2, now from 8 raised to power 8 we will get 24 powers of 2 because 8 is equal to 2 cube and 2 cube raised to power 8 is equal to 24 powers of 2 
and from 10 we'll again get 10 powers of 2. Now when we'll add this number, the sum will come as 50 because 2 plus 8 is 10, 6 plus 24 is 30, 30 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 50. So in a denominator we have 50 powers of 2 and in the numerator we had 210 powers of 2. So total powers of 2 in our whole number is 210 minus 50 that is equal to 160 powers of 2. Now the reason behind it is as follows. If we have 2 raised power m powers of 2 in the numerator and 2 raised power n powers of 2 in the denominator, the total power of 2 in the number is equal to 2 raised power m minus n. So we have got 160 powers of 2 in our total number. So we have 160 zeros at the end of our number. So according to our given option, it is option number C, that is our number contains 160 trading zeros. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh, 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 oh,